Hey guys, Vizello here. So before this video starts, just have to give a bit of a disclaimer. There's a storm right now, so I don't know if you're gonna hear thunder if when you're watching this video. You might not because my microphone doesn't really pick up background noise, but it's really loud. So I don't know if we're gonna hear anything, but it was like raining a lot and now it's kind of calming down a bit. But I don't know if while I'm recording it's gonna pick up again, so I'm just gonna let you know that. Anyways, that's all I have to say, so feel free to enjoy the video. Originally, the concept for classic systems was supposed to be something that would cater to two different demographics. The first demographic would be people who are not with Nintendo anymore or even in the gaming industry at all, but used to be a gamer, I guess, and they used to play on the NES, SNES, N64, all that, and just now they don't. And the second demographic is people who never got a chance to play those games, and now that they can, they can do it on a smaller version with all a whole bunch of games built in. Currently, the newest classic system is the SNES Classic, and it came out in 2017, and it was basically just the SNES version of the NES Classic. It had a whole bunch of built-in games, and it improved upon the NES Classics in a lot of ways. However, believe it or not, I, even when I looked up the release date for it, it stunned me on how fast time has gone. The SNES Classic is almost one year old. In fact, next month, it will be one year old, which is really, really surprising. But that, I'm not going to be talking about age. Today, I'm going to be talking about the next classic system, which is obviously going to be the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition. If Nintendo follows the home console tradition, there is a chance that Nintendo may do something different. And I predicted this before people started looking at different patents. Basically, I do think that Nintendo will be doing a Game Boy Classic, but at the same time, I feel like we are going to be seeing an N64 Classic next. So in this video, in case the N64 Classic comes out this year, I wanted to talk about what I think this thing is going to be, and what games I want to see on it, its release date, and its estimated price. So let's start off with the release date. So usually, Classic systems have either came out in the holiday or the fall. So between September to December is usually probably the sweet spot of when we would see a new classic system. That's usually when the other con the other consoles would launch. And being honest, there's been one annually so far. So if Nintendo keeps up that pattern, we are probably going to see one this year. The SNES Classic launched on September 29th, while the NES Classic launched on November 10th, 2016. So I'm going to say either between September or December, I feel like that would be the ideal time for us to see a new classic system. I just think that that would be the time, the best time for the market because, you know, the holiday season would come up. But at the same time, it would also probably be the most likely just by looking at the dates of the previous classic systems. So let's talk games. So usually the most appealing part of a classic system is not that it's a collector's piece, which I know a lot of people probably collect them, not even just to play them. They probably have NESs, SNESs, and N64s. They just some, you know, collect them as a collector's piece. But a lot of people still buy them f to play the games on them. And I have compiled a list of games that I feel like that are really going to have a very good chance of being on the Nintendo 64 Classic. These are my personal wishes though, like these are the games that I feel like should be the bare minimum that I would want to see on the N64 Classic. And a lot of these games I haven't even played, in fact most of them I haven't at all. So I really, really would appreciate it if we saw these, and I know a lot of them that we probably are. So starting off, obviously the first thing we're going to see is Super Mario 64. It's iconic, it's the original sandbox style that Odyssey is based on and Sunshine is works on. And it's been it's one of the best Mario games ever made in a lot of people's opinions. And I think that it's really, really good, even though I have played a little bit of it, and but I really enjoyed my time playing it. And I really would like to see that on the N64 class. But that's so likely because it's Super Mario 64 is like the flagship game of the N64. So obviously we're going to see that on the Nintendo 64 Classic. If not, then I have no idea what Nintendo would be on. Another game that I definitely think we're going to see is Ocarina of Time. This is considered to be one of the best games of all time, and a lot of websites actually put it as the best rated game of all time, so we're clearly going to see that on an N64 Classic. Donkey Kong 64 I feel like could happen. Mario Kart 64 I don't know. I feel like that could happen. It might not. And the last game that I definitely 100% know is going to be on the N64 Classic is Star Fox 64. 
like there's no debate about it you cannot argue that it's not gonna be on it now you've probably noticed that most of those are first party games however we could see some third party games too but a lot of the really good ones the really good third party games for the n64 i don't feel like could happen like banjo kazooie i don't think it's gonna happen because now rare is owned by microsoft that could happen and maybe nintendo could get in talks with microsoft but i don't know we could see other games too, like Majora's Mask, which uh, that's just something that I feel like I like if Nintendo wanted just one game or one Zelda game on the N64 Classic, if they were to do that, I feel like it would be Ocarina of Time, but we are probably also going to see Majora's Mask on there. And then you have other oddball games too, such as this first, the very first Super Smash Brothers, which I feel like could make an appearance, but I can't definitively say, I can't de definitively say any of these games, but... I don't know, I'm not as confident in that one as other games like Super Mario 64. And then you have the more smaller games like Yoshi's Story and other games too that are also owned by Rare such as Perfect Dark. But I'm sure if Nintendo really, really wanted to go deep into it, they could probably pull out a lot of titles that I would not be expecting. I think the most shocking one that I feel like Nintendo could do would be Doom 64. I feel like that would be amazing on the Nintendo 64 classic. But I don't know if we're going to see that one. At the same time, though, their Nintendo could go completely insane. They could add Super Mario 64. But at this point, it's really just a guessing game. But I do think that the games that listed at first are the most likely. Now, finally, I want to talk about price. So price is not really that predictable, but I think I have a pretty safe bet. So when the NES Classic launched, it launched at around $60, which... That's not bad. That's a good price for a system that I guess a classic system because there's a lot of them on the market and usually they're under $100. However, the SNES Classic brought the price up by $10 to $79.99. And I feel like Nintendo's going to keep this pattern going and the N64 Classic is going to launch at a retail price of $89.99. I could be wrong, they could stick to $79.99. But I feel like 90 bucks is pretty realistic. But anyways, those are just my opinions. And if you have your own opinions, please let me know them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to check out my social medias, so I'll have them linked in the description. I really hope that you guys have been enjoying my channel recently. I've been almost like addicted to making these videos now. Going back to my original like Zero Production style. And if you are new to this community, you can subscribe and like the video if you want. But I'm never forcing you to do anything. That's something that I'm very big on. I never, ever want to force you to do anything on my channel. Already watching what my videos is good enough. But again, I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.